What is up, homies? My name is Felix, and I'm here back again with another video today. And I know that this is a pretty long-awaited one. You guys have been asking me about this for quite a while, but here it is, finally today, Fix It Felix episode three. And for those of you who don't know what this here little series is all about, basically you guys just send me your project files, and then I take your project files, I go in there, I change some stuff around, work some magic, and then I make your beat sound a lot better, which is kind of a subjective thing, but I just change around a bunch of stuff and make it sound all nice and pretty. And for these videos, I fix two beats per video. I do one LMMS beat and I do one FL Studio beat. So if you guys wanna have your chance to be featured here on this series, you can send your beat to my email. Only send me FL Studio project files or LMMS project files. So yeah, basically that's the rundown for what we're doing here today. And when I'm working with project files, especially in LMMS, not all of the drum sounds that you use will be saved. So I usually substitute out all the drum sounds and then sometimes plugins might work, but it kind of just all depends. But yeah, make sure you guys check out my Instagram and my SoundCloud down in the description below, along with the playlist of songs I produced, my Beatstorm, my Discord, all that stuff. Go check that out if you'd wish to do so. And now we can get started with this video. So, so the first beat that we have here today, the LMMS beat is from Joshua Matt, and this is what the beat sounds like currently. I actually had all of the drum sounds that he used for this beat, which is pretty swagger, and then also these uh, sounds that he used actually saved in the project file, so this is actually probably exactly the way that he made it. So yeah, that's the beat, and the one thing that is different is the mix. So all the drum volumes got reset or whatever, but I'm gonna swap out the drums and stuff anyways and then remix it, so it's not really gonna matter. But yeah, so the first thing on my mind is that I wanna change out all these drum sounds for better sounding sounds. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go through my drums and pick some drums that I think sound better. The one really annoying thing about LMS 1.3 is that you cannot copy sounds, which is so annoying. If I go here and then paste, it literally just doesn't work. And I don't know why this feature got completely broken with the 1.3 alpha, but whatever, that's just one of the many things that you have to work around when you're using LMMS. All right, so I swapped out the drum sounds and now the drums together sound like this. And even this right here is already sounding a lot better than the drums that we had in there before. Just a lot cleaner, a lot nicer, a lot prettier. So now before we dive too deep into fixing the pattern of the drums, what I'm gonna do is address this little situation that we have going on right here. It's not particularly bad, but there's a couple things that get under my skin. It's a little bit repetitive, and that violin, I think, is the one that's clicking. You can hear it very slightly clicking, and I think this one actually might be as well. So both of the sounds, the piano and the violin, are both clicking quite a bit. So what I'm gonna do is just replace each of these with a VST plugin. Probably I'm gonna put Creepy Piano in there for the piano. All right, so I put Creepy Piano in here, and then I also put Vacuum Pro in here, which is a nice plugin that has some gritty kind of sounds that I think will go really well with this type of beat. So I'm basically just gonna copy this pattern right here over into Creepy Piano. It's probably not gonna work. No, it doesn't. So because the piano that he was using was a sample, the root note of the sample inside LMS was different. I think it's automatically set to A, but I'm basically just gonna change the pattern altogether and make a whole new bass line. So I changed up the pattern a little bit and now it sounds like this. And now I'm gonna take this and copy it over for the next four bars and change it up a little bit. And then after that, I'm gonna add a little top melody on top of this and then maybe sprinkle in some chords or something like that in there. So I just added the variation of the bass notes on the second half. Now I'm gonna add the little counter melody. Okay, so it looks like I did a lot off camera, but I made this melody in maybe like five minutes. Essentially what I did was I just took these bass notes and then I built some chords off of them and then I added this little top melody and the whole thing sounds like this. So yeah, pretty dope sounding, pretty ominous and spooky. So now what we have to do is take this and implement some sort of little lead kind of sound or something. Cause I don't really think I want to keep that same violin thing going on. So I'm going to go into Vacuum Pro and see if I can find a good sound for this. All right, so I'm pretty much done with the melody at this point. It sounds like this. So 
So that very high pitched robotic sounding kind of sound is from Vacuum Pro. And I'm not gonna be having that playing throughout the whole beat. I'm gonna switch it up at certain points. But for now, this is what I have. So really the only other thing left to do is just change the hi-hat pattern around and also change the 808 notes because they're off after I change the melody. All right, so I just matched up the 808 with the melody and everything. So now all I'm gonna do is just make some minor adjustments to the drums. I'm gonna change the hi-hat pattern around a little bit so that it flows a little bit more smoothly. And then I think I'll also add a couple more percussion sounds and then we'll pretty much be done here. All right, so I basically just finished the beat now. I added a couple more sounds. I added this little crash in here. And then I also added some effects and stuff onto the melody. So it sounds like this now. So yeah, that's pretty much gonna do it for the first beat of today's video. I feel like I kept it, you know, pretty true to the original. I feel like this beat is a nice little spooky type vibe. The mix is not the cleanest with this, but there's only so much you can do. And there's only a certain amount of perfect that you can get things inside LMS. Okay, so I'm back the next day and now I'm gonna be doing the FL Studio beat and this one is from Polar. So shout out to Polar and his beat sounds like this. So I think this is his first beat, and this isn't even that bad for being his first beat. But there's a couple things that I'm going to change. So the first thing is that this pattern is only like three bars. It's not a full four bars. And I actually did this when I was first starting out too. So this is not really an uncommon mistake to make. But then this also kind of throws off the whole thing. But we're also going to take these drums, swap them out for better drums, and then just kind of rework the whole melody and everything. I think the first thing I'm going to do is work on that melody. Because if we have a good basis for the melody, then it becomes really easy to work on everything else. So I think what I'm going to do is take this sound and turn it into some chords or something like that. So I just came up with this little pattern right here and it kind of kept some of the original notes, but I just took out that whole last third bar because it just sounded way off. So now from here, it's pretty easy. All we're gonna do is just maybe add some bass notes by going like this. And now I'm pretty much just gonna copy this over and then I'm just gonna switch up some of the notes in here and give it a little bit more variation. And then after we have these four bars, I'm gonna copy it over and then probably add a top melody on it. All right, so I just did basically what I said I was gonna do. And now the whole melody sounds like this. So yeah, I think this sounds pretty nice and melodic. And what I'm gonna do now is basically mess with the drums a little bit. So the drums kind of naturally had a problem because the melody was three bars. So it kind of just threw the whole rhythm off and everything. So we're just going to adjust that and kind of rework the drums. And then also I'm just gonna swap out all the drum samples for better ones. All right, so we kind of have this really basic pattern going on now after I swapped out the drums. Just sounds like this. And like I said, I kind of just want to rework the drums. So I'm going to speed them up a little bit because I want this beat to be a little bit more up-tempo sounding. So I'm just going to do the drums like this. And then also the other thing that's bothering me is the hi-hats. They're not bad, but I'm just not a huge fan of triplets. So I think I want to keep a pretty basic pattern with this, but maybe just change up some of the rolls and stuff. So the only thing really left to mess around with is the kick. And the kick is pretty much fine, except for the pattern goes too long because of the three bar thing. But I can pretty much just keep this pattern. It sounds fine. But now what I think I'm going to do is switch out this sound because this is a pretty basic like stock plugin sound. And I think I'm going to change it with something in analog lab just to give it a different feel or maybe I'll layer it. I'm not totally sure yet, but I'm going to change it in some way. And then I'm also probably going to add some sort of bass sound. I don't think I'm going to use an 808 for this one. I'm going to use something different. All right. So I've done a couple little things here with the melody. The first thing I did was change the main sound to this right here. It 
It's like a kalimba or something. And then I also added this piano. And then I have this bass line going. And then I also added a little lead sound. So yeah, at this point, we're pretty much almost done. The other thing that I want to do, though, is use this original sound that he had. This was like a backup sound. I don't know if I played this, but it sounds like this. And I think I want to make just like a little variation pattern out of this. All right, so now at this point, we're pretty much completely done. There's only two other things that I want to do. The first thing is I want to spice up the drums a little bit, maybe add like some more percussion and stuff in there. And then I'm also just going to mix everything so I can get all these sounds specifically the way that I want. Put some filters on them, put some reverb, all that kind of stuff. So after messing with the drums a little bit, they sound like this now. It has a lot more groove than the drum pattern that we had before. So now really the only thing left to do is just mix everything, which basically all I'm going to do is go through each and every one and then put an EQ on it, put some reverb on it, and then add any other additional effects. I'll probably put reels on quite a few of these sounds because it'll give it more of like a vintage cool kind of tone. But yeah, so I'm going to do that right now. All right, so after a bunch of messing around with knobs and putting plugins on stuff, I'm pretty much finished with this beat now. So yeah, that pretty much does it for this beat. Here's a little before and after. But yeah, so that's pretty much going to do it for me in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I know you guys have been asking me for a while for another episode of this, and I'll probably do more in the future as well. Make sure you guys check out my Instagram and my SoundCloud down in the description below, along with the playlist of songs I've produced, my Beatstorm, my Discord, all that stuff. Go check it out if you would like to do so. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.